Malaysian and Australian businessmen to increase cooperation in strategic and synergized fields. Investigations into Bakalalan helicopter crash completed. Explosion hits Cairo Bazaar, kills at least two. Octagon Consolidated Brahat through a joint venture will construct a waste tyre pyrolysis plant either in Pahang or Selangor at an estimated cost of around 100 million ringgit. Using Korean technology, the plant will be able to produce commercially viable byproducts such as recovered oil, carbon black, steel wire chips and non-condensable gases. Speaking to Newsman, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Octagon, Maslan Azli said the company is commercialising an environmentally friendly technology to convert waste tyres into commercially marketable products. The actual plant with a capacity to process 120 tonnes a day is expected to be fully operational in the fourth quarter of 2006. For now, the group is identifying a strategic place within the Klang Valley area to construct a pilot plant with a capacity of two tonnes per day and expects to complete and commission the plant in the next three months. Maslan said there's a huge market potential for these byproducts in the market, especially when their prices are now on the rise. Aimed at the export and domestic market, the byproducts such as carbon black could be used in the construction and industrial sectors, while recovered oil, which falls under the diesel category, could be blended with other oils to create renewable energy. In Malaysia, an estimated 150,000 tonnes of waste tyres per year are dumped mostly in an illegal process. Salam sejahtera and good night. Good night.